Joseph. It is your favorite carnival blogger, Rebel Mass. And I'm here tonight with Soka's newest sensation, Miss Nyla Blackman. Hi. So again, welcome to Atlanta. Thank We're you. We're so excited to have you. And I just want to go ahead and jump right in with you. Okay. Like, what is your inspiration? Like, where do you draw it from to give us such great music? Oh, well, inspiration definitely comes from different things. Sometimes it's about how I feel um, about me or right. feel about uh, a situation I'm going on in my life. And sometimes I just have a message for people, um, an agenda. Who knows? Different songs have different um, inspirations, you know? Right. Okay, so great. I'm glad that you said that. So it actually segues into my next question for you. Okay. You dropped Killer Sound Boy. Yes. And it's actually one of my favorites from you oh, thank thus far. You. So, like, what, tell me, you know, what that creative process was. Without giving too much away, what was it like creating that? Well, I, that was actually one of the songs that I did not write. So that was like a top liner that okay. somebody sent me this song. Well, actually, Salvatore. Um, he did the song with another girl and he felt like he really wanted a Caribbean vibe right and he wanted it to be like Caribbean sounding okay. um, he's from Sweden he's a really big EDM DJ um, plays in Tomorrowland and all these places and so he reached out to somebody that reached out to my team and we did the song because we thought it was like killer and it, it's reaching into another market as well exactly. you know what I mean so exactly. yeah that's what that's exactly what I think. So awesome, awesome song. And my final question Thank for you. you is, you know, you and Anson, like you all have just an awesome musical chemistry. Exactly. How did that come to be? Well, it was long time in the making because we have been doing music together going on four years now. Okay. And uh, when I first started working with Anson, I was actually doing backgrounds for like Marshall and oh, 3D wow. and okay, okay. he wasn't calling me to do all right, 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 right. to do my stuff for me for background vocals but um you know when we had free time and stuff mm -hmm. like that uh we would do more pop stuff and right. that was for one year and then i told them i wanted to do soca music awesome. and that was really when it started like it right. really started and we, we did work out so that, and he had a whole plan for um what he saw my music going right. and what we could do to change um to change the state of soca because we feel like soca is so much bigger than just us, the Caribbean, right. and the Caribbean diaspora, and it needs to be heard on the people outside. I mean, yeah, it's being heard, but it's not being called what it exactly. is. And it's we haven't really had like an ambassador for Soka to really say this is what everybody should latch on to and make it mainstream, you know. Right. And it's called Soka, so that's really our mission. And I feel like we both share that common interest, and that's really what drives our chemistry together um, doing music yeah awesome well it is just very apparent that you you know you come from a very musical family background and you know like i said atlanta is very excited to have you and rebel mass caribbean light tv very blessed to meet you thank you <laughs>